Hello everybody and welcome back to my uh, vlog. So, let's have a look we got this. I'm quite excited about this today. Uh, it's just come through the post. Nice little unboxing. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at that. So you might be wondering what is it? Well, it smells like vinegar or something. That's a bit weird. Okay, so uh, I presume these are what I can use maybe to hold the thing up with. Oh, maybe it's this actually. This loop here. That'll be there. That'll be there. And uh, this is a, a delta loop. And even though uh, yeah, it's a delta loop. So basically, it's going to be a triangle of equal sides. Mine's not going to be horizontal, uh, vertical. Mine's going to be horizontal, so it's facing skywards. I'm going to put it in outside. Um, I, I did think about this, but. I need 6.7 meters, and even though I could probably just about do it, it just means that people might be able to walk past it, and you know, or I could trip over um, stakes coming out of the ground at two foot high. Might make it a bit more difficult for mowing the grass. But if I have it like this, or in actual fact, it'd be like this, because the triangle part is going to be coming in towards my mast, my telescopic mast, and then this is going to go out to the hedge, and along the top of the hedge, about four or five meters high, and uh, and this going out to, the, to meet it there, and it will be fed from this end here. That's how long it's going to be, and so that's what this is. With my antennas at the moment, if you imagine that, and then what comes off it is in this sort of shape. It's omnidirectional. If we were looking through the top of it, it'd be like this. But looking at the side of it, it's like this, yeah? If I were to shove that all the way through, but I don't want to because I want to eat this. And that's great for going out sort of this way, this way. And then, let's say we put it like this, and then it's coming out this way, and it goes up, and it goes up, goes up, goes up, hits the ionosphere, and then bounces down. But it's a, it's a long distance away. Yeah? Up, 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 up. And it comes down, 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 down. Long distance. Europe. Um, be great if I could get into the States. Not quite set up for that at the moment. But with this... It will go upwards and then when it comes down it will come down a lot closer in the UK I say a lot closer we're talking three four hundred miles but it's more for the UK uh, type of thing and that's why it's a uh, that's why it's a good thing um, to be able to have this and be able to just about have the room to set it up it's not really what I would have gone after I would have preferred something longer let's say uh, 40 meters length this is 20 meters so it's going to be divided by 6.67 ish meters each side um, but this is all I could fit in to the area that I can sort of get away with using so that's why I've chosen this. And, uh, yeah, so we will have to see how that goes. But just for um, this part, that's it. Um, that's the intention. That's the plan. Okay, guys, so this is how, just temporarily, I'm getting mine set up. So what I need to do first, and I think I've just about found it was the centre of the wire. Yeah, so it goes in line on my 
with my uh, mast and then I've got it there look and I got the dog bone just hooked in so it's all very movable it's all very temporary and so this is 7.76 meters from here down to there which means then if I've got the zero, if I've got the middle part right this is 7.6 meters going up to there and coming back down the other one so that's it that's the equilateral triangle that's the delta loop but of course that's not exactly where I want to keep it um, because that mast is not fully extended I want that to go up well I mean it's near enough fully extended so there's not going to be much difference but then I want these preferably to be higher so here it is being held up that side and it goes across probably might be able to see it because of the sun and it comes down this side and the feed point is up there which is about about six and a half maybe to close to seven meters possibly yeah close to seven meters I don't know if you can see that well that's near enough where we want it and with it like this I get in country stuff better than what I did before but tomorrow we're going to be trying out a long wire and seeing what that's like and taking this down putting a different one up Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. Good afternoon. Operator named Stanley. I'm sure you may be calling that. I'm sure you have been listening there, go ahead. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, if you could go again for me, uh, the first person on this way is Simon. The operator's name is Simon, Sierra India Mike Oscar November. If you could just go again, but a bit slowly for my old hearing on the call sign, please. I've got a um, Mike, uh, Mike India 7 Bravo Romeo, uh, but I think I'm something missing. Over. Sammy, uh, right, brilliant, yes, uh, Mike India 7 Bravo Romeo Victor, yeah, so the QTH this way is Leamington Spa, Leamington Spa in the Midlands in the UK. Oh, Roger, Roger, five and nine. Well, that's not bad. Um, uh, an hour or two ago, I put up a Delta Loop antenna. It's only 20 metres in length, but it's in the um, in the Delta Loop equilateral triangle, and it's about seven metres off the ground in a horizontal uh, polarisation. So that seems to be working pretty well. Over. Mike India 7, Bravo Romeo Victor. Yes, Sammy. Um, well, uh, here in the in the in the Midlands here, it uh, it does say it's going to start raining. A little bit of light rain to come, but it's uh, 10 degrees Celsius, 
and um, it's it's really quite nice. Uh, I, I quite like it when we've got a bit of overcast because the sun uh, plays havoc on my eyes. Um, so I quite like it when it's a bit of overcast. And I'm just looking at your QRZ page and you live in a beautiful, beautiful location. Um, and so I expect you do very well from there. And um, yeah, well, that looks absolutely lovely. Uh, I wish I had the same scenery as what you have there. But hey-ho. Uh, it's just the way it goes as they say so uh, but look I won't hold it with you I'll say thank you very much for um, taking the, taking my call and um, I hope to catch you a bit further down the log sometime Seventy threes, bye bye. Yeah, and, uh, at the moment, touch wood, it's living up to the height. QSL. Break. Yeah, uh, I don't know if we've got a break. Stand by, breaker. I think there's somebody in there, very low, but uh, could be quite close. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, going to be a break now. Yeah, it's going to be a break now. Yeah, fine, yeah, I thought it was the next level up, isn't it? And uh, I suppose that's HF and 6 and 4, I would imagine. I'm not too sure, but uh, certainly uh, certainly a nice looking bit of kit uh, uh, there, Wayne. Anyway, I think we've got a break. Or was there somebody calling over? Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey calling. Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. In Leamington Spa, looking for a radio report, please. Okay, was it Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey, other? Roger, roger. Okay, you're 5 and 5 now. 55 into Yorkshire. And you've got Steve here. Mike 5, Sugar Tango Charlie, other? Mike 5, Sugar Tango Charlie. Let me just write that down. Sugar Tango Charlie. Uh, brilliant. Well, you're coming through to me, sort of 5 and 9. 5 and 9. does fluctuate between 7 and 9. But um, i got a funny feeling. Uh, I'm only pushing 25 watts. And I do believe I heard you say you were going 300 or 350. Over. Yeah, running a bit more here, Charlie. Uh, about 350 at the moment into a doublet. Uh, Roger, Roger, that. Yeah, the first name this way is Simon. Um, Charlie sounds nice, but it's not who I am. <laughs> he he. Uh, you're coming through to me, uh, the Gold 5 station. Uh, I wasn't quick enough to write down the call sign, but you're coming through to me round about two to three on the signal. Uh, but the audio quality is five. Uh, I don't have any noise here, so I'm very lucky like that. Uh, but the audio quality this way is five with a signal two to three. Over. Simon, 
M5 STC, thank you very much for that. Uh, the information is uh, really needed so I can have a, an understanding of how this antenna is working. And um, yeah, thank you very much for letting me in, guys. I'll let you get back to your QSO. Uh, SV, uh, Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey, uh, saying 73. Yeah, 73, say, all the best. Bye bye. Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. Yeah, Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. Uh, my name is Simon. I'm in Leamington Spa. Over. Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey. 7, I think it was Fox Uniform Victor. Yeah, Mike 7, Fox right India Victor. Uh, Fox India Victor. Uh, Stephen, looks like we've had uh, one QSO before, uh, not that long ago, actually, about two weeks ago. You're 5'9, aren't you? Yeah, he's very good. He's doing well. Uh, I know you're very busy, you're doing well. Uh, I'll give you a 73. Uh, all the best to you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Stephen. Good to work here, Dan, and uh, glad to keep them well. And, uh, Catch you. Uh, hopefully, when it's not so busy, we'll have a bit more of a chat. Thanks for the contact, 73. Uh, I'll take one more M7, one more M7, then I'll open it up to uh, everybody. Uh, QRZ. M5, Eagle 1, Lima, Delta, Charlie. 7, SBW. Uh, Mike 7, X ray something? Uh, the M7? M cool sign out. Yeah, sorry, I've got someone uh, keying over the top of you guys uh, asking about cool signs. M7s once again? M7, XBW. I think that was Hotel Victor Whiskey. Hotel Victor Whiskey, yeah. Uh, around about 5556, five, five, over. Okay, I got you that time. Mike 7, Sierra Victor Whiskey, 5-6, uh, and it uh, looks like it's our first contact, Simon. Go ahead. Uh, good stuff. Got the 5.9 and uh, thank you for watching the live stream. Bit of a wave at the uh, camera for you and uh, catch you uh, further down. Thank you for the contact from uh, M0GQC. All the best. Uh, QRZ. Uh, Golf 4, Alpha. Uh, Mike, India 0, Tango Lima Golf. Uh, 